I'm Mona and this is About Face with Mona. This is the channel geared towards everything for that mature woman. That woman who has reached a certain point in her life where she doesn't look quite the same as she used to. Where gravity is taking its toll and wisdom is taking its place. All the things that us more mature ladies need to know to make the most of our more mature age status. I've been going for a little while and you probably have noticed that so we're going to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing, and what are some of my favorite things that you just might want to check out. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around because we're about to get right into it. <laughs> been going for a few months sometimes you just need to recharge your batteries sometimes we, we just need to refill our tank before we can give anything to anybody else but I've missed you guys I'm ready to be back I thought that I was ready to be back before but I just couldn't do it but I've already got three videos filmed ahead so I am really back this time today is a very special anniversary my channel is dedicated to my first cousin, Melody Louise Martinez, and today is the day that marks the passing of Melody. But we are not going to be sad. Instead, I am going to recommit this channel's dedication to Melody and living like Mel. Melody was a warm and generous person who knew nothing about hate and ugliness all she knew is how to care for other people unselfishly. If something was going on in somebody else's world, Melody was just happy for them. She was never jealous or envious. Even though life gave her her challenges, that's what I aspire to be. Better every day than I was yesterday. And to live like Mel. And that's the reason why at the end of every video I say, Go out and live like Mel. That's what I mean. Go out and love with your full heart. Not in an envious way. Be happy for other people's successes. Be sad for their disappointments. And do everything you can to make the world a little bit brighter and happier with the days that you have. We're talking about faves and fails today. And I will also do a follow-up at the end on this Dermalogica neck cream which is what I left you guys off at on my last video. But first I want to talk to you about one of my very favorite things and that's pajamas. I am a girl who loves her pajamas. There is nothing like getting home from work or transitioning from your day to your night if you're working remotely and getting into some comfortable pajamas. So I have a new pair of pajamas to show you guys from a company called Laloris. Now, Laloris sent me these to review, and I am truly loving them, and who wouldn't? I'm going to stand back so you can see them. I'm also going to put a whole body shot. They are made out of 100% silk. They come in a variety of colors. I chose pink because pink is my favorite color, especially light pink. They're extremely soft. They keep their shape well. They have short pajamas, long pajamas, two styles of long pajamas. I like the buttons, the detail. This is a size medium, which fits me very well. They're extremely comfortable. They're washable. When you wash them, they stay shiny. All you have to do is lay them out to dry and then hang them up and voila, you have beautiful, comfortable pajamas. So I truly love these So Pajamas by Lavars. This is not a sponsored video, but I am so happy that they gifted me these. I sleep in them every night that they are clean, and I will be repurchasing some more. They are going to give me a discount code that I can drop in the description with a link so that you can order yourself a pair. These make a beautiful gift. It's like wearing air. It's like walking around in nothing. There's elastic waist on the pants. They're not binding, they're comfortable, they feel so good on your skin, they're so soft. They give you 180 days return policy, so if you don't like them, you can get your money back. They also come in a beautiful gift box if you choose. I think this is something to start thinking about for someone special on your Christmas list. I know it's a little early, but I start getting my Christmas gifts early so that I'm not in a bind when Christmas comes. 
It's wrapped with a beautiful bow. And inside of the box, it says, nice to meet you, Laloris. Let Laloris soak and sleep where I spoil your skin from today. So it's classy from beginning to end. It's a beautiful decadent package to get in. And then it's decadent and luxurious to wear and sleep in and very comfortable. See, the best part of life is waking up with folders. <laughs> I think the best part of life is waking up in a comfortable pair of pajamas or putting those pajamas on when you're ready to transition from your day roll to your after hours activities. And these are so pretty and feminine without losing the comfort. I have not been purchasing a lot of makeup while I've been on my sabbatical. I have been trying to use up what I already have. What is good about that is it's given me a chance to see what it is that I really like, what it is that I'm naturally drawn to when I have a whole seven drawers full of makeup that I bought to review over the previous years. What are the ones that I find myself reaching for again and again and again? Kind of that top drawer choice. Well, one of the things is this City Beauty Skin Perfecting Daily Veil Sunscreen. I've mentioned it before, it's pricey. I went ahead and put this on auto ship so it recurs. You save, I wanna say like 20% or something. I'm not affiliated with City Beauty. I might have had a link at one time. I don't even know what it, what it is. It won't be in the description. This is just something that I enjoy because my skin is flawed and imperfect. I've had bad acne from when I was a teen. I've had skin cancers burnt off and removed. And I've been very self-conscious about the way my skin looks. As a young person, then you add years and age and gravity to it and you really struggle with getting it to look decent to put your best face forward to go out. And this sunscreen this sunscreen really makes a difference. For one thing, I never go out without sunscreen. You can see that I'm pale by nature, and because of my history with skin cancer and my family's history with skin cancer, I make sure that my face is never outside without sunscreen. So I go through a lot of it. It's probably the skincare ingredient that I use, or makeup item that I use the most. This is fluffy. It comes out kind of whipped and pink, it rubs in clear. I think it would be good for any skin tone. It's hydrating. It's SPF 39, so it's got a good amount of SPF. And what I love about it is the way it blurs my pores. There are so many primers out there, so many things, powders, you name it, that claim to, to blur your pores. This is the first thing that I've found that really, really obviously changes the way my facial texture looks with or without makeup. I can wear this on my non-makeup days, I can wear it on my makeup days, and I feel more confident because my skin texture looks noticeably improved. There are others that I like when I'm not going any place. Am I putting this on? I'm not because it's pricey. I'm saving this for when I'm going out. But guys, I love it, and I've repurchased it at least three times since my last video. It's got titanium dioxide in it and zinc oxide as your sunscreen, so it is a mineral sunscreen, and it really does blur and perfect your skin. The other thing that I wouldn't be without is these two under eye creams from Peaches and from Dermatology. I like them both, I use them interchangeably. A lot of people will tell you that under eye creams are a gimmick and for the most part, if you're using them to moisturize, I would say that that is definitely true. If you just wanna moisturize underneath your eyes and make them look less crepey, you really don't need a special eye cream. The reason that I use these two is because they are treatments for underneath my eyes, not for moisturizing or hydrating or plumping, although they do assist with that, but because they contain an anti-aging complex that helps diminish the leakiness of the capillaries underneath your eyes with age. Those capillaries start to leak a little more and that causes bluish, purplish discoloration or dark under eye circles. 
Combine that with the fact that the padding or the collagen decreases underneath the skin underneath your eyes and the padding underneath and you can see that blue leaky capillary look more prominently than you could when you were younger. This and this help combat that leaking and pooling of those capillaries. It contains vitamin K and other things that help keep that dark discoloration at bay. And that's why I think that these are favorites that I will continue to repurchase over and over and over again. Now the other thing that helps me with the puffiness under my eyes and the puffiness in my face in general is the new face device. I know there are a lot of microcurrent technologies on the market. This is one that I choose to use because of its ease of use. Things are only as good as the amount of times that you're going to use them. No matter how good a technology is, if you don't use it, it's not going to work. This is so easy. I can do it without being in front of a mirror. It doesn't take me very long. I can do it for a longer time or I can do it for a shorter time and I can zap this puffiness away and I can also cause a plumping of my skin that causes these to look minimized, these to look minimized, and you can see I don't suffer from a lot of crow's feet. I don't have very deep 11s. What you see right here is a scar from being hit with the butt of a scope during last year's hunting season. That's not an 11 or a line. So my eyes are, are my biggest problem with hooded eyes and then these bother me the most after that. And of course a sagging jawline, but this also helps. The other favorite that I do without fail in the evening is this Current Body LED Mask with red and infrared light. I put it on for 20 minutes. I hit it twice on my face. And then while I'm watching TV, I just rest it on top of my neck for 10 minutes. And then I slip it down like this and I just lay it right here and I let it go for 10 minutes. There is another one by Omnilux that has a few more bulbs and I think the efficiency might be a little higher, but I get good results with this one. I've already paid for this one. This was one that was recommended by Wayne Goss some years back and also Lisa Monique Beauty. And so rather than go and spend a lot of money on a new one, that may have come out and be a little more advanced than this one until something happens to this one or I get a good deal or somebody sends me an Omnilux, I'm gonna keep using the current body and I just use it every night of the week instead of skipping days. Slow and steady wins the race and I usually hit it another time. So that even though I have a, a few less light bulbs and maybe a little less intense intensity than the Omnilux, I feel like I'm getting great results with this device. It is definitely always a favorite and is part of my nighttime ritual. The other thing that I want to say that I have really been enjoying, and that is a lipstick and a lip gloss by Lisa Eldridge. So I have a whole drawer of all kinds of lipsticks and I like many of them. I really, really love my Lila B lip oil and I have bought several of those. And it actually looks a lot like the Lisa Eldridge one. What it doesn't do is it doesn't come in the color Muse. This is the perfect nude for me. So this lipstick by Lisa Eldridge in the color Muse, which is only available at certain times. She comes out with them periodically and whenever she does, I usually pick one up. The gloss is relatively new and I love the gloss. I love this kind of doe foot applicator. This is the same kind that the Lila B has. It's very similar, it's just a different shade. And it is this shade that I find myself going to over and over and over again, like every day. Kind of my lips, but better, a little more pigmentation than my lips naturally. I could probably experiment with different colors, but these are the two colors or the one shade with the gloss that I find myself going to every single day. 
The other thing that I have really been gravitating to, I have also a drawer full of every kind of foundation that you can imagine. What are the foundations that are my go-to foundations when I'm not trying new foundations or when I have some new foundations and I have some old foundations? What are the ones that I'm running out of? There are many that I like and many that I would count in my top 10. But what I'm reaching for is my old Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45. The 2C3 Fresco color is just a perfect match for my skin tone. And this gives me medium to medium full coverage without sinking into lines and wrinkles. It lasts all day. SPF 45 to supplement my sunscreen and I really really enjoy it. It is a repeat purchase. The other one is the Change Maker by Bite Beauty. This is also a good match for my skin tone. I have it in L15 and this provides really good coverage as well. And then newer to the market but very well loved is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Maniac Glow Hydrator. This is my second tube of this and I am enjoying it so much. I have 20 there and it works great for me. The other thing that I've been favoriting is the Merit Collection. These are a little on the pricey side but I really, really like this for a no must, no fuss makeup. Merit's highlighter is so easy. I just slap this stuff on like I'm going plum crazy. I love it. Also their little foundation stick which is portable, easy to use. It can be used as a spot treatment, as a concealer, or as a whole face of makeup. Just so quick. Combine it with the blush. I have this berry color. It just doesn't take any time. I can also put this on my eyes. And basically, with these three and the lip gloss, which I'm about to show you, I can be done. Can't really mess it up. It blends, and then they have this nice lip gloss, which I also like. Unless I'm using the Merit, I do find myself reaching for Lisa Eldridge, but when I'm doing a quick, really fast makeup look, I grab these Merit products and I'm out the door. So those are things that I have been loving this month. For skincare, I have been loving my You Beauty. It has been all about easy breezy this month and last month and the month before. Pajamas, comfortable clothes, quick skincare routine, these two and sunscreen in the morning, the eye cream and that's it. This is a tried and true. I've mentioned this before. Guys, if you have not tried this, I think that you should try this. This is the Visage Pure line. This is their Ageless Defense Oil. I love this at night over my Curology. Curology is a prescription strength Retin-A that comes directly to your door and they formulate your particular prescription with a doctor or a nurse practitioner and I apply this every night except for the night that I use an acid. And then over it, I use this Visage Pure Ageless Defense. This is Astic Xanthan, Grape Seed and Avocado Oil, Organic, Cruelty Free, Vegan, all this. I get it from their site or you can get it from Amazon. And it is so pure that you could actually put this on food and eat it. It is nothing bad in it at all. It also provides natural defense from the sun. You still need your sunscreen, but this is an added boost. And I attribute this to what keeps my hands looking younger and all over my face. Two lifestyle things and then we are gonna be out of here for today. They have a limited edition Starbucks coffee ground coffee at your local grocery store. If you like Starbucks and you like honey and you like vanilla, wow. I will be sad to see this limited edition go. I hope that they keep it 
because I am I am wanting to drink this all day long. This is strong, but it is sweet and velvety. It has a little taste of honey and a little taste of vanilla, and it is so good. This is my second bag. You can see the first bag is um, gone. One fail. I have bought three of these, and as promised, I'm doing a follow-up. I gave it a good 90-day test got this little roller you roll it up and it's supposed to smooth out your necklines what I will say is it does give you a temporary fix you roll it up you keep your neck up and you let it dry and it will help diminish those lines for a couple of hours but for the long term it did not change any of my sagging or my droopiness and it's very expensive so unless you really just want to keep some on hand for just that night out and you feel like a subtle difference is enough to make you feel more confident, I would say that that's a pass. I have not yet been able to find a neck cream that truly does anything different than plump like a moisturizer on your skin. Except for something like this that does do a little saran wrapping to temporarily tighten things up for a special event. It is overpriced and unless you really just want that special night that you're willing to pay for a temporary fix i would pass and save my money i enjoy spending some time with you guys again i really love these pajamas i think that they are beautiful and comfortable and you're sure to find your size and your color you got 180 days to return them if you don't like them Check them out if you like comfortable, pretty pajamas like I do. I like to go to bed looking pretty and feminine, but comfort is key. These check off all those boxes. Fabric is soft and is washable. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Think of Mel today for me and do her the honor to go out and live like Mel. I'll be seeing you again soon. I'll be catching up on your videos. I'm glad to be back.